Hey everyone, um, I have a Lush haul, my favorite type of haul, <laughs> most of my hauls. Um, my fiance was kind enough, uh, my birthday was in September and I turned 31 um, and he got me, like I kind of told him, you know, I don't want anything for my birthday, which was a lie, and um, we went out of town for a little bit and um, he got me a gift certificate for eBay and I kind of wasn't finding anything I wanted on there and so um, a couple weeks ago he told me, you know what, you're not using your eBay gift certificate, why don't you go on Lush, um, get yourself what you want and I'll put it on my credit card, let me know what you want and I'll place the order. So um, really sweet of him. So I got a couple things that I've been wanting to try. There are some old favorites from last year that, uh, old favorites from a year ago, um, that I kind of want as well, but I'm going to wait for the sale um, now that I'm kind of making money again and things are better, um, you know, but I'm still going to hold off until after Christmas. So let me show you what I did get, and there's a bunch of reviews and hauls on the new Christmas stuff, but here's my rendition on it. And I did get some of the Day of the Dead stuff too, so let me start with that. Um, so the first thing I got is the Calacas Shower Jelly. Um, I got the orange one because on the UK site you could choose and those are still available as far as I remember. Um, this is very sweet smelling, very fruity, um, has kind of a citrusy scent and, and kind of like fruity pebbles type of scent to it. Um, and this is supposed to have uh, trying to think of the ingredients. Um, lime oil, neroli oil, um, but it definitely has that citrusy scent. So citrus and kind of fruity, fruity pebbles. That's the Calacas. It's uh, available in yellow, green, and orange. Um, but I think on the U.S. site you don't get a choice. They just send you whatever. Um, and then the other thing I got, I didn't get the Lady Katrina soap because I have a huge soap stash. Um, and I think the soap from Lush is a little overpriced unless you're in love with it. Um, but I did get the Calavera bath bomb, but it broke. So I have it in this little baggie, but you do get to see the inside of what it looks like. Um, and this has a very kind of similar smell to the Calacas, but a little bit more herbally. Kind of cinnamony. Um, and then it's blue and yellow on the inside. And the thing is, with a lot of Lush's newer bombs, I've noticed when they have this inner core, the outer shell splits off a lot easier. Um, and then the outside has little pink glitter and sparkles on it. Um, but this smells really good. It's it's kind of a fruity cinnamon smell. Um, it's very spicy. So that should be good for winter time too. Um, <clears throat> so, wasn't like overly thrilled or impressed by these, but they smell decent. Um, I love this. This is Glog. This is the Christmas shower gel. I got a tiny one to try it. I think um, if they have it when the sale comes around, I might get a medium size of it. I went so overboard on the sale last year and I bought so much stuff and I still have one or two things left over that I didn't get through during the year. I just thought I would be taking more baths and it's just silly, you know, I spent like two or three hundred dollars and you know, it, I, I need to make sure that what I'm buying is stuff I really like that I think I'm going to use and shower gels are one of those things I don't use as much but this smells like cinnamon. Um, it's supposed to be mold wine. Um, you can use it in your hair or on your body and it's a spicy cinnamon. It smells different than the chai shower gel in the retro line. But yeah, it just smells like warm cinnamon. Um, it smells really good. So that one should be nice for the holiday as well. I know a lot of people have been talking about that warming scent. This one I'm kind of torn on. This is the iced wine. I'm glad I got the smaller size. Um, I like it and I don't like it. Um, this is just really, it kind of smells like watermelon to me. Like, like a fruity boozy watermelon. Um, and a lot of people love this one, but I'm still not sure how much I like it. So I might have to break a little piece off and try it in the shower. Part of me is wondering if I should just keep it and sell it after the holiday on eBay. I don't know. I, I kind of like it, but it kind of, it's it's almost overwhelming, like artificial. So um, I don't know if you have it or you've tried it, let me know what you think. But I kind of get that artificial scent from it and it's just really strong. So it kind of smells good, kind of smells a little, uh, so 
This is one of my favorite things. This is the once a year massage bar. And when I got the package, um, my fiance said that he could smell this one the most, and so could I. Mmm, this smells like cinnamon and bubblegum, and there's a little mustache. Um, has little sparkles in the mustache, but yeah. It's kind of like a boozy bubblegum, fruity smell, and it kind of has a cinnamon smell to it too. But yeah, that bubblegummy, boozy, oh, it smells so good. Um, very kind of girly though, so... I think that's a very manly smell. Ooh, made my nose itchy. Alright, so I like that one a lot. The once a year massage bar I would definitely recommend if you like luscious massage bars. Um, what else? I got the Boog, the little snowman. Um, this guy just kind of smells like lemon to me. Like a mild lemon. Um, so there he is, and then in the back he has his um, blue and pink little stuffed um, head, supposedly, uh, I want to say in Sweden, somewhere it's a tradition to stuff your snowman <clears throat> with fireworks, and then when the fireworks go off, the snowman's head explodes. But yeah, this one, I don't know, I'm not overly impressed with it, and it's plus it's not very big, so I don't think I'd buy this one again. I'm just, the, the scent isn't like anything that wows me. <clears throat> and, I, and you know, I always have bubbles in my bath, so anything that goes on under the bubbles isn't gonna be that impressive because I'm not gonna see it. Um, this was a favorite from last year. I got him again. I feel like they're smaller this year and maybe I'm wrong, but this is the Satsumo Santa. Um, he smells like oranges kind of a sweet, citrusy, spicy flavor. This goes really well with Karma. Um, I use this with my Karma bubble bar. Um, it goes really well with almost anything. I use this with um, Christmas Kisses, the cinnamon one. But I feel like he's smaller for some reason. I don't know. I used to um, break these in half and use half in the in the bath, and I just feel like he, he doesn't look as big as he did last year, so maybe he shrunk. I wish I had one from last year to compare. Um, what else did I get? I got Bearded Lady. I really wish they'd brought back um, Gnome Name or Wee Harry. I really liked him. He had like kind of that Dr. Pepper scent. Bearded Lady, um, I can tell that there's uh, cocoa butter in this. You can see little pieces of like cocoa butter, so this will probably be really moisturizing. Um, this smells kind of like avo avocado and banana, I think is what's in it. Um, people say it's supposed to smell like Avo Bath or Ava Bath, but it smells very nice, very mild. I don't think it'll do anything fantastic other than make bubbles. Um, I've noticed a lot of people saying like they only get two uses out of these. I get three to four uses out of my bubble bars because I use that giant tea strainer. If you haven't seen my video on how to get more bubbles, or I don't know what I called it, something like that tip on how to get more bubbles. Um, Cost Plus, or I don't know where else you can get them, but um, there are these giant tea strainers, and you get it, and you put your bubble bars in it, or you can put your um, your bath bombs in it that are going to make a mess. And I used to be able to hang it on my bathtub by the uh, the stopper, and now I don't have that, so I have to hold it. But if you use one of those, it makes so many more bubbles. Um, so instead of two uses, I can get three or four uses out of my little bubble bars, so I highly recommend that. Um, I get way more uses from that. Um, this made me sad because my gingerbread house broke, so it's in pieces. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen how cute this is, but mine looks pretty sad and pathetic. Um, but this is the gingerbread house. This is the big piece. I don't know what this smells like. It smells kind of like, um, kind of like iced wine, or Calacas, or iced wine has a little bit of that like boozy fruity scent. It doesn't really smell like gingerbread. Um, but yeah, my little house fell apart, so the two roof pieces in the chimney are in here. I don't know, it smells good, but it doesn't smell like what I expected it to. I thought it would be warm and spicy, and it's more like fruity, fruity candy. Um, so that one's kind of weird. But yeah, it smells more like iced wine to me. I don't know, so we'll see how that one goes. This smells really good. This is Brandy Butter um, Bath Ballistic. 
And I have the brandy butter or randy butter from last year still. I haven't used a whole lot of it because it's really overwhelmingly strong of um, alcohol. So if you're thinking of getting the buttercream, it's very strong. Um, this is the bath ballistic. This smells like cinnamon, really, really strong like cinnamon. Um, it smells really good and it does have pieces of cocoa butter in it. So if you're a fan of butterball, this should be really moisturizing. I don't really get a sense of the brandy or the alcohol. It just smells really strong like cinnamon, kind of like Christmas kisses. So this is the Brandy Ballistic. It's on the Retro UK. They don't have it on the US site, I don't think. So Retro UK. And then I have my um, Maple Taffy. I got this one because it was really cheap. Um, I lost my, I don't even know what it, Honey Trap I think it was. I lost it at a hotel. It got left behind and it was very sad. Um, and I wanted another lip balm from Lush, so this one was the cheapest one they have, um, and it smells really good. It smells like um, a little bit like chocolate and maple syrup, so I haven't used it yet, but it was uh, cheaper than any of the rest of them on there. Egg Snog was ridiculously expensive, so there's the maple taffy one. It's a good deal. It's cheaper than all the rest of their lip balms, so if you're looking for a cheap lip balm, try this one. It smells delicious. Um, and then... I got a bunch of samples. I asked for samples of all of these things and they left out. I think there was two or three things they didn't give me, but I got samples of everything I asked for otherwise. So um, I asked for a sample of Hottie. This is their new massage bar that um, is supposed to be kind of like wiki, but without the beans. Um, can't really smell it through the plastic wrap. I got another sample of Tuka Tuka massage bar. This one looks kind of brown though, which is weird. It's like a brownish tint to it. But I really like the way Tuka Tuka smells from the uh, perfume sample that I got and the other massage bar sample. Um, I asked for a sample of Fever. It's one of the few massage bars I don't have. And I also asked for a sample of Business Time, which I didn't get, but I did get Fever, Hottie, and Tuka. And then um, I asked for a sample of Snow Globe, the new soap. I got a sample of that, pretty decent little chunk. And then they gave me a huge chunk of Mandarin's Tea Party. So that's my sample of Mandarin's Tea Party, which should last me quite a few uses. And these both smell really good. Um, Snow Globe smells very kind of citrusy and a little bit like whoosh or um, each peach to a pear. Kind of has that um, pledge smell. So I hope it's not as artificial smelling. I really don't like that lemon overpowering artificial scent. But Mandarin's Tea Party smells really good. So I'll see how that one goes. Um, so if you want a review of anything, let me know. If you have questions about anything, let me know. Um, if you've tried any of this, let me know. And um, other than that, I think unless I run out of Angels on Bare Skin or Tea Tree Toner, I don't think I'm going to place an order until after Christmas when they have the sale on the US site. So, um, and this was right at about $50. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items. Eleven items and then samples. So eleven items for fifty bucks. Um, and I have a 10% off coupon, but I need to take a picture of it and send it into them to apply it to the order, which I have not done yet. But my fiance paid for it, so this was my belated birthday present um, from him. And I'm stoked because we have a beautiful soaking tub now at our house, and winter is here, and it's dark because we just had daylight savings time. So I think it gets dark at like 5 o'clock now, and I'm looking forward to bath time. So I think I'm going to go read Harry Potter in the bath tonight. Um, before the last one comes out. I'm rereading it and I don't remember anything. Like, I read it when it first came out and I was so excited to read it and I read it in like two days and now rereading it, I'm like, gosh, I don't remember any of this. I, I was like, what was, he was looking for Horcruxes but I couldn't remember where he found them or how many he found or how it went down and I remember feeling like the ending was very abrupt but other than that, I don't remember anything from reading it. So I must have a really bad retention for reading books. Like, I read very quickly, but I don't remember anything I've read, you know? Anyway, 
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, let me know, and if you're excited about Harry Potter, let me know. <laughs> and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.